Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset Channel. Today, we'll talk about quantitative and qualitative data in clinical trials. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset Channel and all topics on clinical research. Clinical trials are an essential part of medical research. They are designed to test the safety and effectiveness of new treatments or interventions before they are widely introduced to the public. Data, which can be quantitative or qualitative, plays a critical role in these trials. It is through data that researchers gather evidence about the trial's outcomes and make informed decisions. This video will guide you through the fascinating world of data in clinical trials, its types, importance, and uses. Data collection in clinical trials involves gathering information about the trial participants, their health status, the interventions applied, and the outcomes observed. The accuracy and reliability of this data are of utmost importance. Incorrect data can lead to false conclusions about a treatment's safety or effectiveness, potentially jeopardizing patients' health. Let us now start with an introduction to quantitative data. Quantitative data refers to numerical information that can be measured or counted. It provides objective metrics that can be statistically analyzed. In clinical trials, examples of quantitative data include blood pressure readings, body mass index, and the number of participants experiencing a particular side effect. Quantitative data has many benefits. It allows for precise measurements, statistical analysis, and generalization of results to a larger population. It provides hard evidence that can be used to support or refute a hypothesis. Let us now have a look at qualitative data. Qualitative data, on the other hand, is descriptive and subjective. It is often collected through interviews, observations, or open-ended questionnaires. In clinical trials, this type of data might include patients' descriptions of their symptoms, their feelings about the treatment, or their perceived quality of life. Qualitative data helps provide context and depth to the numerical data collected. It can help researchers understand why a treatment works or doesn't work for certain individuals, and can reveal insights that might not be captured through numbers alone. While both types of data are important, they offer different perspectives. Quantitative data is objective, measurable, and statistical, while qualitative data is subjective, descriptive, and interpretive. The former provides breadth, allowing for comparisons and generalizations, while the latter offers depth, revealing nuances and complexities. But how do quantitative and qualitative data complement each other in clinical trials? In the realm of clinical trials, quantitative and qualitative data often work hand in hand. For example, a trial might use quantitative data to measure the effectiveness of a new drug and then use qualitative data to gather patients' experiences with that drug. This combination provides a more comprehensive understanding of the treatment's impact. Let us have a look at an example, antidepressant clinical trials. Consider a clinical trial evaluating the efficacy of a new antidepressant. The quantitative aspects of the trial might measure the improvement in symptoms using standardized scales such as the Hamilton Depression Rating Scale or the Beck Depression Inventory. These scales provide numerical data that can be analyzed to determine if the antidepressant statistically significantly improves depression symptoms compared to a placebo. However, the qualitative data in this trial could involve interviews or focus groups with participants where they discuss their personal experiences with the medication. Patients might share insights about their feelings of well-being, changes in their social interactions, or their ability to manage daily activities, which aren't always fully captured by quantitative scales. For instance, while the Hamilton Depression Rating Scale score might show a significant improvement, qualitative data might reveal that patients experience side effects such as reduced quality of sleep, which negatively affect their overall quality of life. These insights are crucial for understanding the full impact of the antidepressant. They might influence how it is prescribed in practice, such as in decisions regarding dosage or in the development of strategies to manage side effects. But what are the challenges in collecting and analyzing quantitative and qualitative data? The collection and analysis of data in clinical trials are not without challenges. These can range from difficulties in recruiting participants to issues with data management and interpretation. Furthermore, 
Qualitative data can be particularly challenging to analyze due to its subjective nature. Strategies to overcome these challenges include careful planning, rigorous training for data collectors, use of standardized data collection tools, and advanced statistical software for analysis. Both quantitative and qualitative data play crucial roles in clinical trials. They provide different but complementary perspectives on a treatment's effectiveness and impact on patients' lives. Understanding these types of data will be invaluable in your journey towards contributing valuable insights into medical research. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time!